comes in again. Swan's hit straight to the man who can't reach it. Well, as I mentioned, he's very strong in that area. Just gets it over the player at in the uh, the covers. Says so in the air again, and six again. Well, as I said, he's very strong in that area. Bowler keeps on putting it out there. Took that out from way outside off stump. And this one's hit in the air, and that should go all the way as well. Well, that's too straight that time from the bowler. Where do you bowl to him? And uh, there's no great pace coming onto the ball. No great movement either. Not hitting the surface. And this is in the air. Could be caught. Keeper calls for it. Action Jackson takes the catch. Well, he gets his man finally. It's cost him 19 runs. But uh, Sathieson is gone. And that's one of the big pair up top. Um, out for Italy. Now 19 for one. He's got a groin strain, and this one's been tucked away over the top, and that will be six as well. Well, they're only scoring in sixes, it seems, Romania. Taranjit getting into the act now. Yeah, it just settles you as a batsman. And he's gone the same direction as well, same result. Just, uh, well. well. That's the injured <laughs> Mungal, and they have a bit of a habit of taking catches off each other. I don't think that's the, what they were planning with the first <laughs> ball as he catches it about 65 metres from the bat. This one goes over his head. Oh. Bit of a fight for them. Asking for it and going to get it. That's the third one. And, well, Baby Bear, I think he's popped that one halfway up. Maximo Taran is away. And that ball is gone. As Mungal comes in again and this one is gone. Talking about Ahmed Zai, there he is. And that's the end of Taranjeet. Well, again... 18 or 4, is that, uh, is that I worth think it, it? Well, you'd rather make a target get 18 or 4 than 18 off 18. And, well, the muscle man is away. It's Mr. Universe that comes up with the catch. Well, it's tucked around the corner. Should get to the boundary, I think. And Will, just a nicely played shot. Didn't try to overhit it. Bowling to the keeper. This is in the air. Should be out. And gone. Comfortable catch out there. And it's uh, Rahula Mangal. He's so got a good pair of hands, doesn't he, Rahula Mangal? He hasn't dropped too many at all in this series. Mm. He goes for just two, I think, score 49 for three. That would be one tactic. And it's a dodgy one down to third man. It'll go all the way. Look how fast he is. That's come off the bottom of the bat. And it'll dip in front of you as well. This one's a bit shorter and gone. Well... Uh, it's a nice catch. He's hit it to point. Good low catch. Yeah, great catch. And so Ahmed Zai will get the wicket in the end. And, yep, I think that's a pretty clean catch. And you see he claims it straight away. So Siva is going to have to go. Runs, wickets. Had a bit of everything so far. Romania 54 for four as Siva goes for four. Well, go back to what I'll tell you in a moment. So this has got through the field. And that's four runs. Nice shot. Yeah, great shot. Love that. I mean, can I say that? Oh, now. <laughs> oh, Whoa, hold on a second. Could be, you know. He's walking. I think he's gone. Oh, <laughs> what a piece of feeling I was again. I just about to say what a brilliant piece of feeling. And that was without the direct hit. So, can it dives full length. He knocks it down. He picks it up. And he hits the stumps. And he is going to run out Rudd Shaker up. What a piece of work that is. Uh, if he'd gone straight away, he gets there. But that is outstanding fielding and proving your point mm. right there, Danny Hudajek. Absolutely. They love fielding this team. They can be inspired. I'm going to start a cricket club and call it Daredevils as he's going towards the boundary. Great uh, shot. Really good shot. Yeah, Vasi Sayani, so good on the cut. Again, he plays it technically really well. Gets that back foot back and across outside the off stump. That's a nice shot over the top, and that's four runs about his batting and if you retire him out that won't happen <laughs> no i'm not saying well yeah you know as a, as a french fielder well that could be out we'll be out and well everyone's gone everywhere here it has to be a perfect throw it's a powerful throw doesn't quite get to jackson so he goes and still gets on the full brilliant keeping yeah really good keeping and then he has to jump over the keeper has to jump out of the way again he almost gets caught under the second layer of matting so and they're so impulsive, those shots. This is in the air. Should be gone. And there's another one. Yeah, so that'll be Coley who's out first ball. And, yeah, I mean, that's the right approach. They might as well just go for it. 
They'll feel 77 is probably already enough to defend based on what's happened earlier. Uh, these scores in the 70s between these two teams seem about average. Uh, but you know, they, these are bonus runs if they can get them. Coley can't, can't really criticise his innings. This one, everyone, I offer your emergency exits. Here we go. Last ball. Oh, got him. Well, that's uh, Amjad getting a wicket. And you can see how good he is as a bowler. Yeah. And uh, Brilliant last over. Yeah. Just one for four. So, look, 84. <laughs> they score 42 off the first two. They mm. score 42 <laughs> off the last eight. <laughs> so they do get to 84 in the end. Little edge and gets past Adi Gotla and it's running away and it gets there for four. And that's uh, gone. Well, as I said, they will not lose wickets and they just have. And it's a big one. It's uh, Amjad the skipper. And uh, yeah, he's uh, just, just a little edge. I mean, just a little edge. Not quite wide enough to be called a wide, but mm. yeah, you see a little outside edge and he has been outstanding and he, he gets a good play out. And but anyway, this is short. It's a bit Gundy, really, from his saying. So that relieves the pressure as Galami gets forward. Oh, oh well, bowled by Mishra, and he drives straight through Jackson's gate. And he has his first wicket. Gaurav, well bowled. As France lose another one. That's 13 for three. And this was just a classic in-swingers dismissal. He's about to hit it. That's a nice shot. Smashed out towards the boundary. That's four runs. Lovely shot by Kasane. Talking about that. That's a nice shot. That's hits for six. Right over cow corner. And Kasane. He's, um, as you see there. With, uh, hey, Luca Petri, he fielded everything in this series. I know he's off the field, but he still takes this pretty cleanly mm. on the one hand. Hussain. And that's, well, just a single. And it's going to be close. I've Think got this as out. Kasane does back up and run well. Uh, but could pick up the throw from Sathis and rockets it and he's gone by some distance, mm. about half a metre. It's a shame. Yeah, it's a shame. And he's the third wicket as well into four overs. It's 29 for three. Anyway, right here, it's good. And Gulami, the beast, is going to step back and he's going to cut this away. He has to reach a long way. It's quite a remarkable shot. In fact, the turn works against Taran. Anyway, this one's out of here as it is knocked away over fine leg. Maximo, Zain Ahmed comes in, left-hander, gets something that's a little bit out of his front leg and he makes it disappear. Good batting. Lovely shot. Uh, this one's hooked away from the fielders. It should be four, I think, just bounce in front of the rope. And oh, good oh. ball. Wow, if this hasn't hit the bat, this has done so much. Down leg side, put away for four. Well, again, that's his issue, I think. Oh, it's going down leg. It's a bit of a penalty. In fact, I think he's bowled him. He has bowled him. Holy comes in. One of my criticisms has he's kind of drifted into the pads a bit too much. But this time it works out for him, doesn't it? It's a ball that is going down. It hits the oh. back leg and somehow it rebounds onto the off stump. And it's hit his, yeah, it's hit low on his back leg. Didn't really bounce much. Well, I won't say they're main bowlers. This has been hit well. It's going towards the boundary and four runs. Good effort there from the fielder. Couldn't quite reach it. It's just wide of him. This is hit high in the air. Players coming under it and takes an easy catch. Well done there from uh, was Mishra out there. Didn't quite get hold of it, the batsman. And as I said, if they can hold on the wickets, France, they should get there. But um, More twist than a bag of licorice, really, <laughs> in this here in this chase. So, I mean, the four and out. Nice shot. Cracked through the offside. And four runs. Here comes the bowler. And smashes it into the potato field for six. Well, that changes things. Just a bit of loose bowling from Coley with a no ball. And Usman smashes it. And it's another full toss. Could be called. It'll go for four. And if it is a no ball, this will be the end of the game. That will be. I mean, at the very worst, it ties the scores. 
It's been loose from Coley. Let's have another look. And this will probably be called again. It's a blind ball again. It's the same ball. Yeah. It's exactly the same ball. So I don't see how. I don't see how. Yeah, we'll be called. No ball. And here it comes. So it's going to be game over. And unfortunately, this is a free hit that we'll have to cash in next year in Milan because they are going to win this with eight balls to spare. So France are going to tie Romania. I don't think it'll be enough for them to overtake second space mm -hmm. on the ladder. So we kind of have equal second, if you like. Uh, and yeah, man beat up to bowling so well. <laughs> Just lost his length a couple of times. Maybe a bit of fatigue creeping in. But that's all she wrote. And France, they get there.